Good afternoon. Welcome to the Triathlon Dan and Liz YouTube channel. Hmm. Good afternoon. Welcome to an announcement video. So we don't always wear the same clothes. Today we're wearing them for a reason. Yeah. Um, we're announcing that we're taking part in a race team this season. So we're, oh, I've never been in a race team. Neither's Liz. And now we are. Now I use the term race team a bit tongue in cheek. Uh, the team is called Team Icarus. I'm now going to hand over to somebody else who has well founded Team Icarus to tell you a bit more about it. Now I have my own sort of opinions about race teams. You see a lot of them in the triathlon world and whether they're actually race teams or not and what the purpose of them is I, I don't know but it's never really tickled my fancy however seeing Team Icarus and spending time with a few people in Team Icarus really got me interested so over to Matt to tell us yeah. a little bit more and about their it. their reasons behind doing it as well. Yeah but Matt will cover it better than I do and you're probably sick of seeing uh, and, and hearing from me anyway so let's hear from Matt. Hello and welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Thanks to, uh, to Dan and Liz for the introduction. So firstly, um, I didn't expect to be this side of the camera. Um, I'd like to think of myself as a behind the scenes kind of guy. And what that effectively means is nobody follows me on social networking. Um, so just to give you a bit of a background onto, uh, onto Icarus and uh, kind of uh, follow on from what uh, Dan and Liz have just said. So I guess we sit somewhere between a club and a race team, kind of a, uh, a no man's land that we're, uh, that we're happy to occupy. Um, basically we were set up by uh, a handful of pro close friends basically with the objective of uh, avoiding the politics of being in a, in a club but also not wanting the, uh, the kind of the obligation to be a high achieving race team Hiya Poppy, sit down, oh, sit down, sit So basically what that means is for me a team should be something that's you know greater than the sum of its parts and that's not about collecting a set of uh, awesome athletes to uh, to represent. It's basically the kind of people who you want to go and spend kind of a, a wet, drizzly weekend in the uh, in the Lake District and go and do a, a really awesome hardcore middle distance triathlon, or the kind of people that you're happy to invite, invite around for a barbecue and uh, you know spend some uh, quality social time with. Uh, that's kind of what it's all about for me. Um, basically, to give you a bit of background, we're only a small squad, probably 15 or so members. But our members vary from those that kind of race in the kit, you know, will represent 100%, you know, and uh, you'll be seen in the, uh, in the Team Icarus uh, kind of colours. So those that just come along for the socials, they may be part of other teams and clubs, but, you know, they're very much part of the ethos and they'll come and, uh, you know, come to the social gatherings that we, uh, that we try and put on and, uh, and get people together. Um, so just to go back to our foundation, kind of uh, January 2016, uh, three close members, uh, you know, three close friends kind of got together and, uh, and got things rolling. Unfortunately, we lost James, uh, our founding member, um, last year, just, just under a year ago. He was knocked off his bike and, uh, and killed a uh, tragic accident. Uh, you know, it's the party that we're, we're all still coming, coming to terms with and dealing with. Um, it was a difficult period for everyone, but the whole ethos for me is getting people involved and bringing people together. So, you know, I made the decision speaking to, to Brian and the others that yeah let's push on you know we are what we are we're, we're you know, a great group of people um, and you know it's all about getting people involved and, and bringing pe more people along so that's where Dan and Liz come involved they've uh, kind of getting involved more and more this year we've got a few other people that will be wearing the kit for the first time this year so uh, shout out to them you know we're not a, not a big uh, kind of social media following anything but you can uh, you can see us at uh, well when I did the Instagram handle, I didn't really think that it's not the easiest thing to read out, but I think it's at IC underscore R underscore S underscore. Um, so give us a follow there. Um, yeah, and hopefully come and say uh, come and say hi at, uh, if you see the colours at uh, any races. We've normally got uh, flag flying for any local uh, races in the East Midlands, and uh, anyone that wants to come and get involved, just yeah, drop us uh, drop us a line, slip into our DMs or whatever it is that you say. Come and, uh, Come, come along and get involved. We'll hopefully, uh, hopefully see you out and about soon. Back to, uh, back to the pros. Try to on Dan and Liz. Thanks, guys. So there we go. Thank you, Matt, for giving us an overview of Team Icarus. That is it for 2020. Now, hopefully, we actually get to do some sort of racing in 2020, rather than just wearing the t-shirts. But if not, we'll just walk around in the club. But that's not a problem at all. Excited? Yeah, very. Cool. See you later. Bye.